Hi everyone! Welcome to an unboxing and setup video with Kim Tech. My name is Kim. Today we'll be unboxing and setting up the Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro 6E Mesh System. It's a four-pack from Costco, which costs four hundred forty-nine U.S. dollars and ninety-nine cents. This four-pack Wi-Fi 6E Mesh System includes four identical routers, which is marketed to cover up to two thousand two hundred square feet per router with seamless Wi-Fi coverage. So that is 8,800 square feet for four routers and support up to 100 devices with its tri-band of 2.4, 5, and 6 gigahertz. If you're eager to get this up and running, then you can skip to the setup portion of the video using the timestamp below. If not, let's get on with the unboxing. Let's prep this setup. Select one of the Nest Wi-Fi Pro router as your main router. Put it in the location where it's going to be stationed, connected to your internet modem. Plug in its power and we are ready to start. First, download and open the Google Home app. Then sign in to your Google account. I'm already signed in here. Tap allow when prompted for Google Home to find and connect devices on your local network. Tap OK to allow Google Home to discover and set up nearby devices. In this case, it's the Nest Wi-Fi router. Tap on set up Nest Wi-Fi Pro. If you do not see it, tap the plus icon on the top left hand corner. Set up the home location you want to set up the Nest Wi-Fi and then tap next. We have two here because we moved and haven't tried removing the old one. Next again here for location access, select how often you want to allow Google Home to use your location. I am selecting allow once because I don't want Google Home to know where I am when I open the app after the setup. Then tap continue. The Google Home app will start looking for the Nest router. Once it finds the Nest router, it will ask if you would like to set it up. The BE39.YNK you see here is kind of like the name of the router. BE39 is the last four characters of the MAC address, a unique identifier, which can be found at the bottom of the router. It's a bit hard to see though. Anyway, tap next, tap scan code, and we will be prompted to allow camera access to scan the QR code. Just tap OK. Turn your router upside down to scan the QR code at the bottom. Tap join. Once the router has joined the network, 
it will try for internet connection. If you get a connection issue error like I did, you can power cycle both devices, then restart both the Nest router and your modem. But if that doesn't fix the problem, then, then try resetting the modem with the following steps. Once both devices come back up, tap get started. Tap next through the next couple of screens here because Google Home is just telling us to power cycle and reconnect the devices, which I have done already. Tap continue and join. It is going to go through its check for internet connection again, and it is now connected. Let's give our Wi-Fi a name and next. Put in the Wi-Fi password and next. I am surprised that Google Home is not censoring the password here as I'm typing it. Hmm, okay. You are free to select yes, I am in to help improve Google's Wi-Fi products, but I opted out because I am not interested in sharing my data call me selfish. I'm also selecting no thanks for the Nest Wi-Fi cloud services here because I like to work by deny all access first and allow as I see fit. But you can select yes, I'm in. We have to select I agree on the additional legal terms or else we cannot finish the setup. Tap on the location where this device will sit or you can type it in using add custom room at the bottom of the list and tap next. It will do its thing to create your Wi-Fi network, then connecting to the Wi-Fi. This section is really slow. It feels like it's taking forever, but be patient with it because we are almost done setting up the main Wi-Fi router. Once complete, it will ask you if you are setting up multiple devices. Tap yes to set up the satellite unit. Do not put your first satellite unit too far from the main router. Their recommendation is to put the satellite unit no more than two rooms away from each other or the Wi-Fi router will not connect. If the unit is out of range, you will get an error like this. Once you place your first satellite unit, tap next. Plug in your satellite unit, wait for about 45 seconds for the device fully turn on, and tap next. It will start looking for the device you just plugged in, tap next. It is now preparing the mesh system. Scan the QR code, tap join, connecting, then connected. It asks if I wanted to help improve Google's Wi-Fi product by setting usage stats and reports of my Wi-Fi products. No, thank you. And no thanks to the cloud services too. I agree to additional legal terms. Select where the satellite unit is sitting. It will do its thing turning on the mesh Wi-Fi. Join, connecting to Wi-Fi, checking for update and adding Wi-Fi point to your Wi-Fi mesh system. Wi-Fi point has been added to your Wi-Fi network. Then it's going to ask for setting up multiple devices, tap yes and go through the same setup until all of your satellite units have been set up. If they are all set up, then tap no. The mesh connection will start testing to check the connection between your Wi-Fi points. When the mesh test is complete, Google Home will tell you your mesh connection and how the satellite units are looking. Mine says great connection for all three units. I am selecting no thanks for the stay in the know. Allowing network access here because Google Home is being used to manage my Wi-Fi router and satellite units. It's looking for nearby hubs, checking for updates, and downloading and installing them. It will restart all of your units and check for updates again. Once your Wi-Fi network is verified that it's up to date, your Wi-Fi is ready. Tap continue. You can always set up the satellite unit at another time using the plus icon on the top left here. If you couldn't set up all of the units on the first day and need to pick up at a later time. This setup was done with an iPhone. So if you're using an Android, some steps may look a bit different, but it shouldn't be much. I'm going to do some testing with this and come back with a review video later on. So please stay tuned. Hope you all find this video helpful. If you do, please click the thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it down below. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have a nice day or night, wherever you are, my buddies. Until next time, bye.